and welcome to another very exciting and very quick tutorial. Today I'd like to show you how you can set up a public beta for your application to ensure your best quality apps to be tested thoroughly also by real people around the world or real people that would like to participate in your beta test. If you've never participated in a beta test before or you'd like to see how this actually works for people you invited to your beta test, I can offer you a first-hand experience for my newest app. It's called OneLine. You can um, uh, use it as a day-to-day -day diary where you can enter one line of text every day and you can also um, add a photo to summarize your memories that you have collected over a year and have a look at them later or just a month after. You can also protect um, your entries with uh, with a passcode and your fingerprint. So this is actually a um, digital memory book for all of the memories you collect over each day of the year. So if you'd like to participate in this beta test, you can either head over to my website, brianadvent.com, scroll down a little and enter your email address here and hit the submit button, or you can just click on the, um, on, on the proper link in the video description below. So now let me show you what you actually need to do to set up um, a test flight beta yourself. So the first thing you actually need to do is head to iTunes Connect and create your application right there. Therefore, you of course need to be um, an Apple developer and have, uh, have a subscription of the uh, Apple developer membership. And once you did that, you can, for example, uh, directly now, um, or you could also do this later, but you can actually go to the test flight tab right here and enter some basic test information like your feedback email or your marketing URL um, and so on. But now the important stuff is actually that you also create a provisioning profile for distribution on the App Store. Once you did that, you can go to Xcode into your build settings. And what you want to do there is, first of all, select the appropriate provisioning profile and also set your code signing identity to distribution. Once you did that, you can hit, um, create um, your archive by uh, clicking on the archive button in the menu and if you if you've done that I actually recommend before uploading it to the App Store first um, commit uh, or first click the validate button and if your validation was successful you can then upload your build to the App Store and this should take some minutes um, it depends on the size of your project the speed of your um, internet provider and so on but once um, the upload was successful you can actually go back to your iTunes connect page and all you need to do here now is um, clicking on the external testing button under test flight and you can actually invite up to 2,000 external testers but the problem with external testing or actually it's you could consider it a problem if you want to do things fast. Um, you need to be reviewed. If you want to do internal testing, you can invite up to um, 20 internal testers um, that are part of your development team. Um, there you won't need a review, but for external testing, you need a review. But this actually takes most of the times up to a day or two, not seven days or or more if what if that's what you've experienced with um, the complete review if your app goes to the App Store. But what you need to do in order for this to work, you need to add a build to test, which is uh, on the right side here. Once you did that, you can select your build that you uploaded from Xcode. And you need to keep in mind that this can take up to half an hour or an hour to be processed before you can actually select that build and add it to, um, to this test procedure. Uh, once you click next, you have to um, enter some basic information for your testers, like what they should actually test. You need to enter a beta app description, feedback, email, and so on. Um, then some contact information. Then you can decide if you want um, a demo account to, um, to provide your users with a demo account um, if your app requires that. And the last page is a review notes um, text field where you can 
logically enter some review notes. And once you hit the submit button, actually all you have to do is wait until it's your app or your app in beta is, um, uh, is reviewed by Apple. And then you can click on the plus button and add your external testers. And to get external testers, um, I have now chosen to create a Google form where you can enter your email address. And I will, as soon as the, um, as the app was reviewed and approved for beta test, I will simply enter all of the email addresses into, um, into here. And then you will get a notification um, with uh, via email and you then you then download the test flight app and you can simply run the application then which makes the life for your testers really really easy and also for you setting this um, test flight external testing up is really a piece of cake actually it just takes about half an hour um, if you take the time for archiving and uploading uh, with into account. So I'm excited uh, to see how many of you are actually signing up for this uh, beta test and um, to see how TestFlight is going to work for my application. I encourage you to also use TestFlight or another beta testing solution in order to have great software quality for your customers.